Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is about my textbook which is titled Dr. Chitra's Atlas and Textbook of Human Anatomy and which is published in Notion Press and also available in the Amazon and in Flipkart. And this is the link of the textbook. I would like you all to know the highlights of the textbook and this textbook has been only in the region upper limb and it will be subsequently followed by the other regions. And this is the title front and back page of the textbook and the highlight of this textbook is the high resolution dissection images with YouTube links for each topic and regions and we have many atlases and textbooks separately and this is the first of its kind of atlas and textbook having high resolution dissection images and adjacent to that illustration images and YouTube links for every theory and dissection components of the topics and this is also in the exam oriented presentation you can just prepare and present as such in the textbooks and it is prepared according to the competency wise preparation of the topics in upper limb. This is the contents of this textbook having minute details starting from the introduction to upper limb, cutaneous innervation of the upper limb and bones of the upper limb in detail followed by the pectoral region, axilla, superficial muscles of the back, shoulder region, front and back of the arm followed by cubit and fossa, front of forearm and palm of the hand so that students can understand the structures entering the palm of the hand from the front of the forearm. Same way back of forearm followed by dorsum of the hand. And three nerves of the upper limb are the important questions in the upper limb. So nerves of the upper limb have been given in the separate chapter followed by venous drainage of upper limb and lymphatic drainage of upper limb. And joints of the upper limb are given in the last in detail covering all the joints in the upper limb. And in the appendix, important bony landmarks of the upper limb and development is also added. It is given in detail according to the anatomy competences which is given by the NMC for each region and this is that uh, uh, next to the contents page what are the anatomy competences the student should learn and be, that are given in the page numbers also separately so that they can easily go through this table and see the answers for the competences that is how it is structured. For example, in the arm, describe and demonstrate muscles of groups of upper arm with emphasis on biceps and triceps brachii is given in the page number 39 to 40 and also in 43. Describe the anatomical basis of vena puncture of the cubital veins. It is given in the page number 49. Like this, all the competencies have been added in this table and the page numbers are given separately for each competency to help the students so that whether they can check themselves whether they have learned all the competences given by the NMC. So this table has been split into two pages in the textbook and here it is given in three slides. And important points in the region has been given like this separate uh, boxes like this so that it will be interesting for the students for example what is ulnar bursa what is radial bursa what is vincula so adjacent to each chapter the important points are highlighted like this in the separate text box and these are the images of the osteology of the upper limb so this picture shows the left scapula costal surface and right scapula dorsal surface and this is the right humerus anterior and posterior views and it is labeled and it is given in detail for the osteology of the upper limb. 
and side identification of the bones are given again in the boxes separately including the peculiarities of the clavicle side identification of scapula and humerus and like this in each chapter adjacent to that what are the youtube links available is given separately so this is a very good dissection image of the axillary artery you can see this axillary artery is the continuation of this subclavian artery from the outer border of the first strip so this is the axillary artery which is divided into three parts by the pectoralis minor muscle and you can appreciate this the relations of this axillary artery to the cards of the brachial plexus very much clearly in this dissection image as i was telling high resolution dissection image is the highlight of this textbook so this picture shows the anastomosis around the scapula dissected image and also same illustration image adjacent to that with clear labels of all this dissected parts so this is anastomosis around the scapula and this image is the roof of the cubital fossa which is given uh, which is showing clearly the veins in the roof of the superficial veins in the roof of the cubital fossa and highlight is again as i was telling illustration image adjacent to every dissection image which will be very much helpful for the first year students in the left side image the students can see the how the flexor digitorum superficialis tendons and the digitorum profundus tendons are inserted digitorum superficialis tendon divides into two slips and in between the two slips the profundus tendons passes so again it is very clearly given in this uh, illustration image this right side image shows the course of the radial artery which leaves the front of the forearm again passes in the roof of the anatomical snuff box dips between the two heads of the first dorsal intraarches enters the palm of the hand to complete the deep palm arch and this is the good dissection image of the deep palm arch of the hand and this left side image shows the superficial palm arch nicely dissected and what are their branches and in relation to the nerves of the palm of the hand and intrinsic muscles of the hand is given clearly in this dissection image and this right side image shows this extensor expansions you can nicely appreciate this illustration image same as dissection image in which all the extensor tendons of the forearm are inserted so if the students can see like this both together instead of simply one diagram it will be ever green in their minds i hope very important points about this textbook from the beginning as i was telling first stop it's sign having following special features high resolution dissection image and adjacent to that illustration images youtube links for both theory and dissection components and exam oriented even competency wise prepared uh, according to the necessities of the present uh, cbme curriculum i hope this book will be really helpful for the medical students Thank you.